Hello, and welcome to this What's New video for Compressed Build 7510. Today, I want to go over some of the new features that are going to be available to you in this build. Some of the new features are going to include elbows, our IBC 2015 wind and seismic update, our TEMA 9th FEA expansion joint calculation, as well as a new enhanced appearance for our user interface. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see from the model in front of you, Compress now has the ability to model elbows on any nozzle connection on the vessel. So for example, if we scroll in, you can see we have a straight elbow, an increasing elbow, as well as a reducing elbow. To add an elbow to a nozzle, users can either right click on an existing nozzle to edit it, or we can add it as we build the nozzle as I'm going to show you. So for example I'll come up here to the top and select my nozzle menu and select a detail design. Now I'm going to use the defaults that Compress has given me so we're just going to use a standard 6 inch schedule 40 pipe and we're going to locate this on the first cylinder up at the top. From here I'm going to click next and on the second screen, there will be a new Nozzle Connections button located. What we can do is click on this, and our elbow dialog will appear. We can actually specify different design conditions for our elbow, or take the conditions from our vessel. In regards to the connections available, we can have a pipe as a connection, a pipe and an elbow, say for example if we have a bottom head and we need to extend it down a bit to come out of the skirt, or just an elbow. As for the pipe end connection, we can have a pipe, we can have a pipe and a flange, we can have a flange, a flange with a pipe, or a flange and a pipe with a flange, which I'm going to select here. From here, I'm going to look up my pipe and flange details and I'm just going to specify a 300 class welding neck like so. I'll click OK and I've specified my nozzle connection and my pipe and connection. From here we have some B69 elbow inputs for example the elbow material we can simply select it from the pull down list here and we can also look up the elbow size we can also match the nozzle dimensions as well. And then in regards to the elbow type, we have a few options available to us. We can select long and short radius 90 degree elbows, a long radius 45 degree elbow, as well as a long radius reducing and increasing elbow. But we'll just stick to a long radius 90 degree. At the bottom here will be some of our pipe inputs. For example, our pipe material and then we can also look up our pipe size and match the nozzle dimensions. And I'll just increase our pipe length to 10 inches and I'll click OK. I'll click OK again and as you can see I've added my nozzle with my elbow with my flange connection very very easily. The next feature that I want to talk about are the new IBC building codes that are available to our Compress users. Under our codes menu, I'll specify wind. The IBC 2015 is now available under the selected wind codes in Compress. So under a pull down menu, I can come down and select IBC 2015. From here I can go ahead and click OK. And as our status bar indicates, my wind code has now been added to this vessel. Likewise, I can do the same with seismic. Again, just come to our codes menu, select seismic, and from the pull down menu, specify IBC 2015, either ground supported or building mounted. The next feature that I'd like to talk about has to do with our heat exchangers. So I'll flip over to this heat exchanger file, and as you can see, I have my nozzle con connected to elbows 
but I also have a flange and fluid expansion joint modeled on my heat exchanger. So if I open up this heat exchanger, we can scroll across to the top to our expansion joint page. And you can see here, here our geometry for our expansion joint. So users that deal with expansion joints a lot know that the team of eighth had rules to uh, design and to calculate stresses in our expansion joint. The team of ninth edition now relies on an FEA solution, which is now included in Compress. So instead of having to have a separate license or a separate program where we have to enter the data in twice, this will now be taken care of for you automatically in Compress. So all that is needed is the geometry for the expansion joint, like so, and we'll click OK, and then just run the calculations. So we'll come up to our action menu, select perform code calculations, and in our output report, scroll down to the expansion joint report, and you'll now have your FEA solution provided to you. So you'll be able to review your spring rates, as well as the calculated loadings and stresses that we placed on the tube sheet. And as always, we can generate these reports in PDF by simply clicking on the PDF icon and reviewing it that way. The last new feature that I'd like to show you is our enhanced appearance for Compress. So many of you have may notice, but the icons looked a bit more polished, crisper, a little bit more definition. Well, that's part of our new enhanced appearance. But also included in this is some customization. So for example, if you want to change the background, you could simply come up to the window menu, come down and select our background color, and change it to any of the available types. For example, if I wanted to change it to a black background, I could click on black, and as you can see, I now have a black background. Similarly, if I want a different color, just come down and select it. To review all the new features available to you in Build 7510, you can come up to the Help menu and select View History. This will take you to our web page and it will launch a page that will contain all the new features as well as maintenance fixes for you as well. I'd like to thank you for watching this quick What's New video on Compress Build 7510. If you have any questions or you'd like to see a demonstration, please email sales at codeware.com or give us a call at 941-927-2670.